What's up, Trap Family? Hey, guys. Marissa and I are back with another special recipe for you guys. And especially because it's Veterans Day, we got a military classic SOS. Yeehaw! Marissa, what's SOS stand for? SOS? It stands for All right. So we're not food historians, but our good friend Jill is. So she's going to tell you all about the history of SOS, and then we'll get to cooking. Stay tuned and check it out. Hey everyone, I'm Jill from Yester Kitchen. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Marissa, for allowing me to be part of this video. So, on a shingle. Well, the real name is chipped beef on toast. And what it literally is, is chipped beef, which is just paper, 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 thin sliced dried beef in cream sauce on toast. So it was very, very popular in World War I and very popular in World War II because it was easy to make, it would fill the soldiers' bellies. It, um, it was economical. You can make it in vast quantities and you can kind of ship the ingredients that were needed, especially because it was dry beef for the army and, and the Navy, we'll get to that, um, anywhere in the world and cooks can make it. And so armies, wars kind of ran on it. So if you were to ask the army if they invented it, they would say yes. If you were to ask the Navy if they invented it, they would say yes. The truth is, no one really knows. That kind of got lost in food history. So the homemakers started replacing chipped beef with ground beef. It was just, it's in the stores, it's readily available, and people just liked it better. And that's kind of made it even look more like, you know, shit <laughs> than it did chipped beef. But people loved it. And so the nickname, you know, people, a few people started with the nickname, and the nickname goes way, way back to World War I and stuck. So no one really says chip beef on toast anymore. It is now SOS. So that's kind of where it came from, kind of a background, and I cannot wait for you guys to make it. So thank you so much, you two. Save some for me. And Kevin, Marissa, cheers. All right, guys, all you're gonna need is some ground beef, onions, flour, salt and pepper, and a little bit of milk and a little bit of bread, okay? So first step, is we're gonna throw our beef up in that pan. So go ahead and smush all, all that right, up. All right, let's smush this up. So we're using ground beef. You could also use that chipped beef, but this is what we had lying around, and this is runs really gonna taste good when we're all done. And I get the 80-20 ground beef. That means it's got a little bit of fat in it, which is gonna make it taste a little bit better, because we're gonna make a gravy. Coming up. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah. I never understood the percent, the lean and all that. I just buy it. Yeah, the more fat, the better. All right, now that we got the beef a little bit, we put a whole onion chopped up in there. Just like grind it up in here. Yeah, it smells really good, don't it? I always like the smell. All right, now we got that cooking a little bit. Why don't we add a little bit of pepper and a little salt. Save a little bit for later, guys, because when we make that gravy, we're gonna put a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. Have you ever had this? Um, I think I have, actually. This is a very homey food, right? Yeah, it's really filling. Comfort food. Mm -hmm. And you can whip it up on a budget. This is why they serve it to people in the military. Mm -hmm. Happy Veterans Day, by the way. Happy and Veterans also, Day. And also, people in prison. <laughs> but I think it tastes better homemade. Drop a comment if you've ever ate this in prison or in the military. Yes, I'd like to know. Wow, this is so easy. So, do they call this like a poor man's food or something? I think you can just feed an army, no pun intended, uh, on a cheap budget, because all you need is a little bit of beef, onions, milk, and bread. How much do you think that is at the grocery store or the commissary? Not much. Do they have commissaries on ships? Yeah. Cool. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I just said yes. <laughs> I always wondered that. If you know, drop a comment and let us know. I'm curious. Yeah. And let us know what your favorite food when you were serving time was. Yeah. I serving know. Serving time, is that military too or is that just prison? That's right. Is it both? Oh, that's a good question. Serving time. It sounds more. Service? Serving? serving. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I don't know. We're not sure. 
But I do know they eat MREs. Have you ever had one? No, we should do a taste test. Oh, I have some. My dad has some that are ancient. They're like so old, probably from 1940. We should try them and yeah, see if they're should, still good. We should do a taste test. That would be awesome. Do they expire? I don't even know. I don't know. I think I can find one. He has a whole bunch of old ones in the garage. Nice. You see how it's a little greasy? That's perfect because that's going to help us make our gravy when we add the milk and flour. Oh, it's flavorful. That's what gives it flavor, right? Definitely. That's why you want that at least 20% fat ground beef. I don't know. I love the smell of onions. Yeah, me too. It opens your sinuses and just... And it's good for you. Did you know that if you put a slice of onion on your foot before you go to bed, it will take out all the toxins when you wake up? Your onion's gonna be black? That's what I heard. I never tried it. Hey, that looks just about done. Why don't we go ahead and add some of that uh, flour in there. All right. So we got a quarter cup of flour all up in there. And we just want to cook it a little bit just so, you know, it gets that raw flour taste out. And this is going to help thicken our gravy. So what's the difference between flour and cornstarch? Isn't cornstarch do the same thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So you could probably use either one, right? You could probably use either one. That's right. So we got that cooking a little bit, get that thickened up. All right, guys, you guys ready? You guys ready for that milk? Yeah, let's pour this milk. All right, Marissa, go ahead and pour about half of that in. Half of it? So half about right it. here? Yeah, we're gonna pour half it in, and then we're gonna let it thicken up, and we're gonna adjust it if it needs to be more or less thick, okay? All right, guys, here it goes. Ooh, looks good, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more. Yeah. So we're going to let that flour thicken up this mixture. So you just keep stirring, okay? All right, I'll keep stirring. I'm like your mechanical stirrer. For sure. Hey, that's looking pretty good. It's looking thick. And we got some white bread that we're going to toast up and then we're going to pour that gravy over the white bread. So this is a really nice, flavorful, cheap food. It's almost like biscuits and gravy. Are really good. Yeah, I love going to the diner and getting biscuits and gravy, so this is right up my alley here. I like that. Get the bread all toasted up. Alright. Alright, so now give it a taste, Marissa. Give it a taste? Yeah, yeah, and then we'll go ahead and adjust our salt and pepper. But you definitely want a lot of pepper and a lot of salt. I, I don't want to burn my tongue off. All don't right. burn your tongue off. Oh, we're done. That was good. That was hot. Oh, okay. Don't burn your tongue off, guys. Mm-mm. That is so good. I love it. All right. Do we need a little pepper? No. Put more pepper in it. All right. Make it a little bit more spicy. All right, guys. Black pepper all up in there. Oh, it's so Definitely good. Definitely want a lot. Delicious. And a little salt? Mm-hmm. All right. Just a little bit more. And a little salt. So good. As you can see now, it's thickening up, it's sticking to the spoon. It's not just runny, mm -hmm. and that's what you really want. It's looking really good. I think it's just about done. Let's check it out. Got a fresh spoon in here, a ladle. If it sticks to the spoon like that, that's a gravy that's, right there. That's a gravy. That's a gravy. Thicker than a snicker right there. Doesn't that look so good? It smells good. All right, now we got the bread all toasty. I've never made this before, never. All right, guys, let's go ahead and serve it up. All right, here we go. Wow, doesn't that look good, guys? This looks really good. SOS. Beep on a ship. Yeah, all right, guys. Let's try it out. Mmm. Dang, I'd go in the military just for this. Yeah. This is good. Would you go to jail just for this? Mm, <laughs> think about that one. <laughs> But you know what? I want to say thank you to all you veterans, active, inactive, for everything you guys do for our country. 
Definitely. Chap Disa wants to thank you for your service. Yes. Mmm. Well, I'm going to eat this whole thing. This is so easy. I think I'm going to make this for dinner tonight. Yeah. And how long did it take us to cook it? About five minutes. It has great flavor. A lot of flavor, but pretty simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. All right, guys. So Trap Bistro wants to remind you, the lower you squat, the better it tastes. Trap Bistro out. All right. <laughs>